Haplogroup T had a strong connection to the Fertile Crescent. Notable finds tell Megiddo, tell Abel Beth Maka. This area has the highest frequency and diversity of TM70 added with the fact that this region has the oldest ancient DNA T, ADNA, found today. A singleton sample was found in the Jordan Valley at Ain Ghazal, dated to around 9 Kiya. In the Upper Galilee, the finds at the Piki in Cave site are the highest frequency of T samples found at any one site, anywhere at that period or any time prior. Over 200 ossuary bone boxes were discovered at the Piki in site. It is associated with the Copper Age Gasulian culture, a likely pre proto Semitic speaking people. The secondary burial practice wasn't a common ritual. It was believed only to have been practiced during the first century, exclusively in Jerusalem and its surrounding areas by Jews and early Judeo-Christians. It was believed to be unknown when or why it started, but we do know when it ceased to exist after 70 AD. It is considered a typical Jewish burial. It is very important to understand that it is believed to have only been practiced during the first century. There is one source that validates the custom. It's never mentioned in the Talmud, but it is mentioned as Christ's burial. The DNA testing conducted by Dr. Iran El Hayek on Welcome to Ancient DNA Origins reports Pekian samples as being 100% Israelite. This compounded with the fact that when using the ancient DNA samples to make an argument, one must consider the site of Tel Abel Beth Maka, where they uncovered a Y haplogroup TCTS2214 from the Iron Age, pretty far down the tea tree, way past TP77. FTDNA discovered tool correction of the Pekian cave sample number changed from Dr. Dr. 1166, which was duplicate. 2, Dr. 1165, Dr. Iran El Haik, 650 BCE, which is very problematic when the carbon dating on this sample is 4500 BCE to 3500 BCE, possibly, why Dr. Iran El Haik is claiming them as 100% Israelite. Haplogroup T is rare, scarcely scattered, and widespread at very low frequencies worldwide, accounting for 1%. It's often one or the other, but this frequency gets much higher among Semites natives to the Near East and the Horn of Africa. Other haplogroups found amongst Jews and other peoples of the Levant have extremely high frequencies among non-Middle Eastern and non-Shemite peoples carrying those similar subclades, unlike T, which is completely opposite from those other haplogroups' patterns of diversity and likely origins. Kulubnarti 6328 and Kulubnarti 6340 dated between 700 and 990 CE during the North Africa Christian Age and were found in the region now known as R Cemetery, Kulubnarti, Sudan are strong examples of haplogroup T among early elite Christians. The Kulubnart finds of TL208 is the most prominent among Somalilanders estimated to be 70 to 90%. We find the most continuity and diversity of TM184 M70 in the Fertile Crescent within a wide time range. Reported dates in the Late Iron Age, 1011, 846 BCE to the Bronze Age and the earlier Copper Age backing up into the MPPNB Middle Pre-Pottery Neolithic B finding the oldest dated TM70 being present in Ain Ghazal Transjordan. Haplogroup T had a strong connection to the Fertile Crescent. This area has the highest frequency and diversity of TM70 added with the fact that this region has the oldest ancient DNA T, ADNA, found today. Please like, subscribe, and share Lost Tribe DNA.